A little while ago, Webflow announced that it was working on a full membership system inside of Webflow, and now it's finally in beta. Now this is gonna be massive for anyone who wants to create gated or subscription-based content natively inside of Webflow. But while we wait to get access for its official launch, let's look at what features this will include, what it might not include yet, and what this means for building more complicated Webflow sites in the future. In the past, if you've wanted to add gated content to a Webflow website, you would have had to use an integration such as MemberStack or MemberSpace. And though these integrations have been built to be sort of straightforward, since it's not fully baked into Webflow, there are a couple of workarounds that make it a bit more inconvenient and a bit more complicated. But with memberships built in, we'll be able to easily add gated content for subscribers by defining which pages are only accessible or visible to those who are signed into your website. And this also includes having different tiers for different types of users, including those who are only on a free trial. So there are gonna be a bunch of use cases that are gonna be great to use the membership system for, such as course-based websites that can more easily host their courses inside of Webflow, or written content such as articles that can be gated behind a paywall. Or any website at all that has login or sign-up functionality will be a lot easier to keep track of users and show different content for different types of users. So I personally have a bunch of Webflow templates with login and sign-up pages that right now aren't as flexible as they could be, but with the membership system, working with these pages will be a whole lot more straightforward, especially because the new system will have dedicated pages for user systems, including the login and sign-up page, but also reset password, update password, uh, access denied, and even user account pages. So though we don't know right now how in-depth the user account page will be, it opens up a couple of potential future use cases down the road, such as users being able to see and manage previous orders for e-commerce websites. I don't imagine we'll see this kind of functionality on the initial launch, but maybe further down the line. So does this mean that membership integrations will cease to be useful? Well, Webflow membership systems won't work for dashboards or no-code web apps out of the box, so there are still a couple of use cases that this new set of features won't cover. So if you're currently using an integration for memberships, switching to the built-in Webflow system might not be useful unless your systems don't rely on complicated setups such as for a dashboard. We might see integrations like MemberStack simplify by connecting in with this new system, but if that does happen, it likely won't happen until sometime next year. So here's what we don't know yet. We don't know how much it'll cost, but maybe similar prices to integrations or competitors. We don't know how or if it will integrate with e-commerce, but probably not. And we don't know when the official launch will be, but the official announcement will be at the No Code Conference later this year, where we will likely see a hands-on demo of all the new membership features. So let me know your thoughts on Webflow memberships. What are you excited to build? What do you hope they include? And if you're already using an integration, will you be switching to Webflow memberships as soon as you can? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Go sign up for the memberships beta, and I'll see you on the next one.